The strength of June Anderson's soprano lies not just with her voice, but with her flair for the dramatic. She has a way with words. Anderson is a specialist in bel canto, beautiful melodies usually associated with 19th century romantic opera. Although critics note her phenomenal agility and range, she came to music somewhat reluctantly. I really didn't want to be a singer. It was just something I did. You know, I did what people told me to do. I was a very obedient child and eager to learn. I've always loved learning. I had a teacher who just kind of pushed me in the right directions and introduced me to a lot of music mm -hmm. and, and little by little made me love opera because I thought it was an absolute horror. I couldn't understand how people could get up and, and scream and <laughs> do that awful stuff. Born in Boston and raised in Connecticut, Anderson began singing at the age of 11. If she is not yet as well known as other divas, it may be because she decided to launch her career in Europe first. She did not make her debut at the Metropolitan Opera until 1989. But now, June Anderson is no longer a surprise. This year at the Kennedy Center, the Washington Performing Arts Society presented June Anderson in recital with pianist Stephen Blyer. Anderson was a French major at Yale and only sings in languages she can speak. You're dealing with words and words in different languages. Um, I happen to love learning languages, so I speak French and Italian fluently. I speak a little Spanish, a little bit of German, and now I'm learning Russian because that's my new love. It's so important because it's only in knowing exactly what these words mean that the proper color will, will come to the sound. She learned Russian for her role as Maria in Tchaikovsky's Mazepa, which she performed with the Opera Orchestra of New York at Carnegie Hall. We are so jealous of people whose instruments is in, in the body. Oh, and I'm so jealous of people who can put their instrument in a box. <laughs> <laughs> I'd do anything to be able to take it out. <laughs> but is there any way that you can describe what it feels like when it is going well, when you are just one with the music and the character? Um, it's something that probably nobody will understand. I feel like my feet are under the stage. It's an incredible sense of balance, total balance with uh, maybe the universe. <laughs> I've just come from California, you have to forgive me. <laughs> In California, with the Los Angeles Music Center Opera, June Anderson went mad as Lucia, the young bride in Donizetti's 19th century opera. This mad scene was not just a showcase for her voice, but for her physical prowess as well. Stuff 
is actually prettier than the real stuff. It is much. Uh, June Anderson loves dressing up and pretending to be someone other than June Anderson. Okay, can we have quiet outside, please? We are recording. Recently, she tried acting, playing the role of 19th century Italian diva Adelina Patti. The docudrama was filmed in London's Covent Garden. Action. Madame Patti, I have nearly all the money. Nearly all? The fee is $5,000. And I will not go on stage until I have all of it, yeah. in cash. Oh, of course, madame. More than anything else, June Anderson loves rehearsing, learning, and perfecting. Indeed, she is happiest when she is singing just for herself. If I could, I would only sing in my living room. You know, I would stop performing. I, I look forward to the day, frankly, when I can stop performing. The idea of, of the, the car career being something that's going to end is, is thrilling. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, well, I, it's, you know, you can't, I don't want to sing for the rest of my life. You know, I, there, there are other things to do. Singing is what I'm doing now. And I'll do it while I can still do it really well, and I'll stop doing it while I'm still doing it well.